It's a big honor for two South Carolina State University students. They are among the 100 students from HBCU's historically black colleges and universities across the country who were named White House HBCU scholars and will head to Washington this weekend. As News 2's Octavia Mitchell reports, the students will serve as ambassadors for the White House initiative. Now at just 19 years old, I'm getting to the White, I'm going to the White House from South Carolina State University. The not president could have nominated literally anybody, so, but he nominated myself and Victoria, so I'm just grateful. Meet SCSU juniors Victoria Jordan and Kennard Holmes, now White House HBCU scholars. I'm super, super excited about the HBCU White House initiative. SCSU President Alexander Conyers nominated the students. The two were selected for their achievements in academics, leadership, and civic engagement. I, I was just so grateful because it's not something because I was so great, it's because other people saw me and noticed that I would be a great representative for my university. I just take great pride in that. The White House Initiative on Advancing Educational Equity, Excellence and Economic Opportunity recognizes undergraduate, graduate and professional students for their many accomplishments. HBCU scholars will serve as ambassadors of the White House Initiative on HBCUs, the U.S. Department of Education and their schools. We are going to be working with uh, different government entities like NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense. Um, and we're going to be sitting and talking with all of the different entities that make our government our government. Um, but no, most for me and Kennard especially, we will be paying a visit to Congressman Clyburn while we're in D.C., uh, which is super exciting since both Kennard and I are in the Dr. Emily E. Clyburn Honors College, and we are both distinguished scholars of the Clyburn family. It's not just going to the White House for a week. Um, beyond that, we'll be meeting monthly um, and having assignments and grow, growing as professionals and challenging one another from other universities. Um, just growing as professionals, period, but meeting in the White House for a week to get to know one another and get the opportunity to interview at great places um, and great institutions. The two SC State students formed a friendship soon after they arrived on campus in 2021 as a result of their work together in several campus organizations. Both Victoria and Kennard are tall in stature, but that's not the only reason their peers look up to them. Victoria is a biochemistry major. I'll get both my DMD slash DDS in dentistry and my PhD in molecular and cellular biology. With that, I want to be able to do translational research, meaning that I would do both clinical and bench work research um, to help find a cure for head and neck cancer. So I currently do research at the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston, um, and I specialize in pancreatic cancer right now. And what we look at there is the tumor microenvironment and the different components of that. But since some of your cells are, you're born with them and they just translate differently in different body parts, I want to be able to take the knowledge I've learned from pancreatic cancer research and apply it to head and neck cancer research. Wow. So you had a... Later on this fall, I will be receiving my first scientific publication. I will be the youngest African-American female from both the Medical University of South Carolina and South Carolina State University to be a published co-author at just 19 years old. 20-year-old Kennard is a business management major. I want to pursue a career as a human resource manager. Both leaders say this experience is life-changing. I'm where God put me, um, and I truly believe that. Um, it's not because I'm so smart, not because I'm so strong, not because I'm so fast, but because people have trusted me and God has put me in certain positions. So this is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I do not take for granted. As he stated, has believed in me, it's nurtured me, it's helping me become the woman I want to be. and. Being able to share that with the world, not only with my peers here at South Carolina State, but with the world at the White House is everything. Octavia Mitchell, count on two. Congratulations, Victoria and Kennard. The 2023 group of HBCU scholars was selected from a competitive pool of more than 300 applicants. Holmes and Jordan are among five White House HBCU scholars here in South Carolina. The others represent Voorhees, Allen University, and Denmark Technical College.